Poverty rates on First Nation reserves across this country are abysmal. Child poverty rates in the prairies are over 50%. I mean, these are, it's, it's obscene that we allow this to continue to happen, but we're just so normalized to the fact that uh, First Nations have been largely stripped of land, largely stripped of rights over resources, continue these land claims, and as a result, um, don't receive the type of funding that would be required to put them on an even, you know, even a standard footing in terms of uh, funding for key services that, that, that most Canadians just take for granted because they live in municipalities. They wouldn't put up with this kind of uh, poor support from the federal government anyplace else. Um, and as a result, for instance, the, the James Bay Cree uh, child poverty rate is lower than the Quebec average, including all children, not just uh, First Nations children, as an example of this type of resource revenue sharing being a potential it, it, answer to high child poverty rates that, that resource revenue sharing can be a potential answer to that. Now, in, I mean, in this case, it's not necessarily true, but it is important to understand that uh, while we talk about the economic impact on regular workers and regular Canadians, which will certainly intensify as time continues, um, these impacts have been happening for decades, for centuries on First Nations reserves across this country. Uh, and little to nothing is being done to correct them.